Okay, I'm gonna be talking to you guys about energy drinks versus the all natural way. Facts about energy drinks. Since 1997, the Red Bull came out, you know, with their debut of the energy drink. Now, we are the targeted consumers of the energy drink. We are the young crowd that, you know, they, we look at. There was a study done to determine the energy drink consumption patterns among uh, students. Now, there was for uh, insufficient sleep to gain general energy while studying, now for long periods of driving time, while drinking at a party, treating a hangover, and that's about it. Now what we don't know before we're about to buy an energy drink. Each one, like buying one eight ounce thing, is about 110 milligrams to 150 milligrams of caffeine. Now 300 to 400 is considered a caffeine overdose, which can lead to nonstop vomiting and even heart palpitations. Like two weeks ago, my brother drank only three monsters before going to work and two hours later got sent to the hospital because he couldn't stop shaking due to the, you know, the energy drinks. <laughs> now, researchers have found that the number of emergency department visits involving energy drinks jumped from 1,100 in 2005 to 16,000 only three years later. Does this look fun to you? Yeah. I do not think so. There's a way to stop this. Other alternatives, they will not kill you, they're perfectly safe, and they are, without a doubt, really, really, really easy. One, eat lots of protein, eggs, like protein shakes, whey, all that stuff, it's really good for you. One main reason for young people feeling fatigued and tired is due to lack of protein in your body. Two, get sleep. Plan a schedule that not only suits your day life, but your night, your nightlife only. A recommended seven to eight hours per night, you know, is the normal. You could like, you know, it's good for you. And last but not least, drink lots of water. If we are even a little dehydrated, our metabolism can slow down by up to 3%. That's super sketchy. Trends. We are the main trending people that use and consume energy drinks. We need to stay up longer, we need to study, and we need that extra energy. Like how many of you guys use energy drinks? How many of you drink more than one per day? Well, I have, yeah. How many do you usually drink? <laughs> I drink like two. I, not, 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 not like this though, but I, I drink two. It gets me feeling good. Especially, I use it especially when I'm, uh, if I need to study, if I have like a long study night, I'll pop two, maybe throw a roofie, and then, <laughs> and then, if not, yeah, and then work, I gotta work late. Did you know that those two energy drinks <laughs> is that much closer to a heart attack? Really? <laughs> yeah, don't do it. Uh, <laughs> no. Stay away from the energy sleep? drinks. And the roofie? <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely that. <laughs> Caffeine has led to many deaths heart attacks, and of course, plenty of doctor's visits. Knowing your own body is what's best, and finding a routine that helps you keep this way is also very good. The natural ways are the best way to stay alive, so when you're thinking about staying up and studying for your exam, you know, eat a lot of protein, get a lot of sleep, power nap right before you're about to study, those are the natural ways to stay awake without having to worry about dying. <laughs> Thank you for listening.